Hey guys, my name's Lauren. I'm the community manager here at Team 17, working on my time at Portia. And tonight I'm joined by Jono, my fellow community manager. Hello, it's good to be here. Um, we are celebrating the launch of my time at Portia. It went into early access today on Steam. Um, we're really excited to show you guys some gameplay tonight. Yeah, it's incredible. Even the like intro screen is entirely different from when yeah. we were uh, in the demo period and kind of pre-early access. Now it feels alive, it's vibrant. I'm really excited to see, see what the game is like now it's in the wild. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're just going to load up the game now. Um, we're going to just take you through some of the features of the game, um, give you a general idea of what the game's about, uh, what you can make in it, um, and we're just gonna we're just gonna explore Portia for a little while. Yeah, I say, and if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in chat, and we will answer them the best I can. So, okay, what is my time at Portia? So, my time at Portia is a life sim RPG with crafting and farming elements. Um, there's a story, uh, there's story missions in it. You've got side missions. So the the background of the story. So this here is my character. Yeah. Yeah, your character is customizable. So when you first load up the game, you can choose to be male or female. You can have different hairstyles, color, eye color, um, all of that stuff, and name your character as well. So you are a builder. You've just inherited a workshop from your pa. Oh, free and... property. <laughs> Well, you know, um, and you've moved to Portia, yes, which is a lovely little town um, that unfortunately has a bit of wreckage in it from a, uh, a an apocalyptic time. I see. And so you've got your workshop here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the idea is is that you are responsible for helping rebuild Portia. Yes. So there is a big backstory that you're less. Is that a plane up there? Let's look in the sky. That's new. Look at that. Ooh. So the world is recovering and following uh, an apocalyptic war, which we won't say any more about because we don't mm -hmm. want to ruin the story. And you've inherited this workshop. Now you're a few hours into the game now. I am. So you've got a few of the key machines yes. built. Can you farm yet? Have you started farming? Um, I have started farming. So what what I... have you been growing, Lauren? Let's go on a little tour, Let's shall we? Have a little we? doozy over there. So my workshop, creatively named Workshop. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, because you can name it whatever you want. Yeah. As long as it fits on the sign though, right? Yeah. And you being the most original player of my time at Portia <laughs> chose workshop. I'm not going to lie, I was so excited to start the game that the creativity to name the <laughs> workshop went completely out the window and it just got named workshop. So if I start again, which I might now that Early Access is yeah. launched, I'll think of something a little bit more creative. It's like saying, you know, name your character carefully and you yeah. put carefully. Yep, or character. <laughs> yeah, or character. Person one. So, um, so Luke has dropped him in. Luke Buckley says, I'm going to play the hell out of this. Yeah. Now Luke, you have chosen wisely. It's like, just get lost in it even when i'm just like sat there on my lunch and i'm like oh there goes the last hour it's way too easy to get lost in i will say that because there's so much to do in this game and and you don't have to stick to the story mode like story missions you can go off on a tangent you can go mining mm. um, you and you actually explore. destroy the, like it's like a voxel state you can mm -hmm. actually dig tunnels and yep yep you can dig tunnels um you can also there's a lovely little system which we'll show you a little bit later that actually helps you find things when oh. you're mining as well Ooh. so uh, a little inside tip that's a so, nice bit of info <laughs> let's give you a little tour of my workshop okay so you inherit your workshop which is this building here around your workshop is a very small piece of land for which you can choose to organize yourself so obviously being quite a few hours into the game now i've got various machinery here that enables me to make things yeah so Oh no, all of my machines have turned around the wrong way. <laughs> Why have you done this? Good, the good thing like is you're not talking to me. Yeah, they're falling out with you. Yeah. Um, so you can place them wherever you want. You can buy more land. So you can actually design it how you look. There's no set placements. You no. go, I want this here, I want that there. So as you expand your workshop, yeah. you can really kind of put your own personal touch on it. Yeah, exactly. So you have different machines for different <laughs> things. You'll be able to smelt stuff. Eileen has fell into the classic trap that we had in the office until we confirmed with the developers. Is it Portia or Portia? Portia. Portia. Now, Portia. we don't blame you for calling it Portia no. because even within the office, we were we debating like, yeah, but, yeah, but, but the yeah. developers have confirmed to us, um, Pathia over in China have said, yeah. it's Portia. But we love the fact you've been talking about the game. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> so, aside from your workshop, so you, you will have to build these machines. These won't be here. Um, again, that's another fun part of the, the game. I don't want to give too much away because obviously there's a lot of building involved. But if I just quickly show you this. So, you'll have your inventory oh, wow. screen. You'll have 
everything that your character has on them in their backpack. So obviously, as you can see, I've got 48 pieces of stone. Uh, you know, just in case. I don't, you know, any girl going out on town needs her 48 <laughs> pieces yep. of stone. As well as her removable battery and copper coil and old pots. Yeah, yeah. Who I, knows I when you might that. need to build something while you're out. I mean, you've even got a sword, a hand axe, yep. eight CDs and a fishing rod. Yeah. So the CDs are data discs, which we'll come back again to later, mm. because they are quite interesting. So this screen is your hub, if you will. So you have your inventory, you have your character, where you can level up your skills. It's just like, like in a... RPG game, yeah. a traditional RPG game. Yeah, so game. you've got your battle skills, your gathering skills, and your social skills. So obviously, aside from having to battle, which one am I? In Portia, <laughs> um, from gathering equipment and resources to build stuff, there's also a massive social element to this game. So the great thing about Portia is not only can you build friendships, and obviously some missions might require you to be friendly with people because yeah. you know it's going to progress you a little bit further in things um you might choose to pursue a romantic relationship with Ooh, so if i were like a young lady or a young man yeah. my character can choose you know say say i've Whoever made you fall say in love yeah with. say i've made a mini me like yeah. a little uh, like my my male portion if i fancy one of the blokes or if i fancy one of the girls yeah. i can attempt to pursue them and hopefully woo yeah. them with my fantastic charm so yes. if i level up my social skill that can help me be a bit yeah. of a portier Casanova. Yes, so you can level up your social skills, you can take people on dates, um, and then You've obviously... You've never took you know, me on one. Oh, sure. <laughs> right, so that's your character skill points. The handbook, you get given your handbook at the very beginning. This is basically your go-to guide Ooh. for everything, crafting um, and building. So again, it will show you everything you can make in the game. There's various different things, food, furniture, wow. weapons, all of that sort of thing. Because your house was looking pretty bare, but you can, yeah. you can put furniture, you can decorate, and that'll actually improve your stats as yeah. well. Yeah, so there'll be different objects that you can make that, that can improve stats for your player. Um, and again, obviously, you guys explore all of that. Um, let us know how you get on, what, what you choose to level up on your character, what, so what other items you want to make to help you along your way. Obviously if you're more of, if you like to play more sort of RPG sort of things, then obviously you're going to focus on the fighting, yeah. the battling. Um, if you like to craft and farm, you're going to focus more on your gathering skills. And if you want to go down the romantic route, you're going to focus on your social skills. So let's back out of this. Okay, so you have your workshop and all your machinery. Should we go and see some of the residents? Let's go and visit Portia. So Portia is a living, breathing town. You know, people have jobs, people have routines, some go on exercise, some um, kind of spa with each other. There's a cafe, a restaurant, the town hall, the guild hall kind of mm -hmm. situation. It, it's all going down and it's there for the player to explore. And throughout the game, it's not just kind of static routines. There's seasons, there's special yeah. events and festivals and everyone kind of follows the time. So you can't just rock up to the Commerce Guild at like, you know, uh, midnight. Six in yeah, the it's meant to go in. They're there at like eight o'clock, nine o'clock. You know, they follow a working routine. And of course, that doesn't mean you can't do anything at night. I mean, we recommend you sleep, get mm -hmm. your energy back, but you can explore and see what monsters lurk out in the wild. Yeah, definitely. So, an interesting thing that you obviously said about everyone having their own routines and different timings and things like that. Something that's quite interesting is all of the characters, like the the villagers of Portia, they might own shops. They might have like their own routines that they go into. So, for example, Alice here. If I talk to Alice, Alice owns a flower shop. Um, have you ever visited my garden? And each beautiful? character that you meet might have something different to tell you. You might learn a bit of history about Portia yeah. when you speak to them. Um, so you've got like the flower shop there, and then you'll have. If we've got over I here. like how you're just running around with your axe. Like, yeah, I can yeah. chop wood if I want. This to. is really safe running yeah. with an axe. You don't so run with Martha axes. owns a bakery. You can buy bread off of Martha if you want. There are loads of different places to explore. There's a furniture shop, a tool shop, um, I believe that's a school there. And then you have the research centre over here. Ooh, sounds scientific. So, inside tip. The research centre is very useful for when you find these discs. So look that's out a, for that. That's a top Lauren tip right look there. Look out for that. Lauren tip number one. <laughs> Data discs and the research center. Okay, so I think what we should do is, is show some commissions. Yeah, so the way the story progresses is through um, commissions. So there's mm -hmm. kind of like primary commissions and kind of side commissions. So basically swap out commissions for quests. Yeah. And that kind of answers that. So mm -hmm. we're going to look at the building element. There's also a combat element as well. So we might end up fighting something. 
um, and then maybe do some farming as well. Yeah, definitely. So, right, tell us about commissions. Okay, so we're going to go into the Commerce Guild, which is where the commissions board is. So, like you've rightly said, Jono, commissions are basically... A stretch. Um, <laughs> they're basically jobs, job tasks that the, com the Commerce Guild will give you as a builder. You can choose which one you want to accept you can accept one commission per day yeah obviously you have to complete it you can't stack <laughs> them up and have the like 10 at once <laughs> so you go in here and you have a look at the board and each one will tell you what that person's looking for so obviously as you progress through the game you'll have more equipment you'll have better skills better resources that sort of thing so you you'll have an understanding along the way of what you can and can't achieve yeah. um, and obviously each commission also pays you money which in this game is called goals. Ooh. Which were very That's, useful when you so buy things. Goals are the goals. goals. And I noticed as well you gain reputation with the character and a certain institution as well as some XP. Yeah. That's true. Right, so let's have a look. What can we do? Oh, we have a question. Would you recommend a restart of the game for players from the closed beta? It's entirely up to you. If you're happy with your character, stick with it. Um like I said, I'm probably going to start a new game because I want to explore the character customization again because obviously a lot more has opened up yeah. now. Um, yeah, it's, it, like I said, it's entirely up to you. You'll have all the story missions and everything and we'll be adding so much more content throughout Early Access anyway. Um, you'll be able to access, access all of that along the way. But yeah, if you want to start again, try yeah. some new character customizations. I mean, everything's different, you know, the, everything's a lot crisper, a lot smoother. There's more things for you to do. You've got all your crafting options coming yeah. up. Um, so, you know, why not enter Portia as a fresh citizen mm. and kind of take it all in and now journey with us through early access as well yeah. as the game continues to develop. Yeah, okay, so I've got some commissions here that are from the comment from Portia. Yes. Um, so they come straight from the mayor's office, which may mean that they're direct, directly linked to story. Yeah. Um, so I can choose those, or if not, these ones here that I just labelled, if I can get to that one. Um, so this one, for example, are looking for two rubber tires. So should we try them? Yeah, let's tires? get some rubber tires. Okay, so this one's going to reward 361 goals, Ooh. 80 experience, and plus 58 reputation from the Commerce Commission. So we're going to accept that. And that's that gives cute. us a lovely little start. So what I'm going to do quickly is just remove these other missions from here so it makes it easier to view. So there's a combat mission in there as well, the Pambat infestation. Oh yes, so that that's a that's another story mission. That's quite. I think it's going to be a pretty lengthy task. That one. Before we do the commission, can you can you go see the llamas? We can go see the llamas. The llamas are one of my favourite things. You'll see why very shortly. Let's go. Let's go this way. And hopefully we'll bump into Pinky. Yeah. Uh... So I'm going to run a little bit faster, which as you can see, I've got an energy bar, an energy wheel that comes off on the screen. So I can only run until that runs down, and then I need to recoup. There we go. So if you want a little burst of energy, sounds good to me. That's what we do. Look at that, there's one of the uh, scientists. Oh. Is it? No. No mysterious man. Ooh, oh, let's talk to the mysterious oh man. Sorry, we're getting a bit sidetracked. We have to. Oh, That's a nice mask. Just appeared. I am called the mysterious what are you selling, salesman? mysterious salesman? He's a mysterious salesman. Let's, so, should we talk to him? Yeah, see if we can build our reputation. Well, well, I have some special, have some special and valuable yeah. wares. And um, will pets be added? Yeah, that's that was one of the Kickstarter goals mm -hmm. that got reached. So at some point in early access, pets and yeah. further animal interactions will be coming to my time. Yeah. So we should have a sort of confirmed roadmap very soon, that, so that we can share with you guys what's coming, what's planned, what we're going to add in, that sort of thing. Pets, obviously, being one of the things that we will be adding in. Um, yeah, but like I say, there'll be a lot of content yeah. added and over time. At the minute, there is a stray cat called Pinky, who is one of my favourites. And if you feed Pinky the right kind of fish, Pinky will follow you around. Okay. Um, which is great, even though Pinky is slightly rotund, so isn't the fastest cat in the world. We'll see if we can find Pinky in a second. Um, so Oh, sorry, there was a question about console platforms. Yes. So it's launched on Steam Early Access today and console, so PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Nintendo Switch is due for 2018. Yeah. Um, we don't mean to be vague, but once we have more concrete information, we'll be sharing that with you all on the various platforms. And here we are. Tell us more about these beautiful creatures in the voice of David Attenborough, Lauren. Here we see the llama, the colourful llama. <laughs> so these guys <laughs> are always in this field. Um, each favorite. one has a different level. Oh, look. Is that what I think it is? It's poop. Lovely. I'm sure that'll go great on our crops. Should we pick it up? With our hands? 
Oh, some seeds. And we seeds. got some papaya seeds. Yay, Ooh, the animals cool. have gifted us some papaya seeds. Yay. So does that mean we can grow some papaya now? It does. So picking up poo has granted poo. us the ability. <laughs> You're so excited. <laughs> Let's be poop hunters. To get, to get some more. Uh, so you can get distracted so easy. Potato yeah. fruit seeds. So the llamas are different levels. Different levels, obviously, like in most RPGs, give you a rough idea of how difficult that character is going to be if you got into a fight with yeah. them. Um, I don't really want to kill yeah, a llama right kill now. Llama. So we're going to leave the llamas at B. Um, how big is the world? Can we pull up the world map? Oh, the yeah. sun's setting. I love how it's all very dynamic. Let's have a look. look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, so how big is the world? It's quite large. There's the world map and then there's dungeons yeah. and ruins. So we have a quick look at the map? So let's have a look. So this is kind of what we've unlocked so far. Yeah. There are more areas, but we've not progressed very far in the main storyline yet. So it's actually quite condensed, but mm -hmm. that does open up. Um, and in regards to can you have children, would you like to explain more about kind of the later on stages of relationships and if you can have children? Okay, so with relationships, obviously you'll have to date Bye, someone. Son. Oh, look at that pink sky. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, obviously, you'll have to go on dates. It's not going to be easy to get someone to marry you. Um, so there'll be lots of dating, lots of gifts. Um, there'll be mini games that you can go and, and play when you're sort of in the dating pool. Um, the dating pool. To like increase your sort of like your relationship points because yeah. obviously you've got to get your reputation up. Oh yeah. Um, there and then you can eventually propose, and if you want to, you can get married. Um, as far as I'm aware at the moment, there's no plans to add children in right now, but obviously that's feedback that I think a lot of people yeah. would be quite interested in um, to be adding to the game. Children exist in Portia, but you can't physically yes. have your own child. Yes. And um, yeah, and um, yeah, so you can go and chat to them, hang out with them, mm -hmm. but you can't have your own at this point. Okay, so. Oh, also, is there a wiki for my time of Portia yet? There isn't. There is a fandom wiki rather than sort of like a wikipedia page so i believe that there is some information on there at the moment but it's not completely um completely filled out and obviously we're still adding stuff to the game so it's, yeah it's, it's, it's constant be, yeah it's gonna be update that like all of that stuff's gonna kind of be ongoing for a while but see the support from the players in maintaining that fan wiki is is fantastic yeah, it's definitely. brilliant to see the passion and commitment from our players yeah and for those on kickstarter if you backed the relevant tier of kickstarter um that says you know you'll get a game code then the code you receive will automatically upgrade to the full game yeah and um, now it's live oh you've you've got a sofa but you, you've obviously like the view of the wall. so i think what's happened is where i was playing this in the alpha Obviously, I've built it a certain yeah. way, and then I've kind of gone in and messed with my save a little bit. Yeah, you just, <laughs> just got to turn everything yeah. around. Yeah, I think I put that around the wrong way by accident. So what I'm going to do is, because it's night time now, obviously it's quite dark, yeah. and I want to go and meet some more characters, because I need it to be light. So I'm going to sleep. Can I have a snooze? Have a little snooze. Um, so an interesting thing, obviously, about the, the time and the calendar and everything in Portia, um, so it, if you look at the bottom right corner there, there's a clock and obviously tells you what time of day it is. Um, you'll go through all of the changes in the day, sunset to sunrise and everything like that. But you'll also go through seasons. So if you look in the bottom corner there, it'll be, I think that's the 28th day of the third month. And that little icon tells me that it's autumn. Oh, fantastic. So we're going to obviously experience seasons And you still have the well. leaves as well, you yeah. know, the, the foliage yeah, is kind of a browny, ground. dark green. Um, look at that. I love the view and obviously up where Lauren was looking where the windmill was is a farm um, we don't recommend you go around picking up the baby ducks because the mama ducks don't like that and you will feel their wrath. Or you could try Pinky! Can we go talk to Pinky? Let's go talk to Pinky. Look at, look at Pinky. Pinky's like meow. <laughs> Have we got anything we can feed Pinky? Oh there's some of the local uh, youngsters and then in the background we have some sword practice. No please don't. Not Pinky. <laughs> Lauren doesn't like Pinky, and I like Pinky. There's another animal right. that Lauren likes. Let me show you. I like Pinky. It's not that I dislike Pinky, but there is a far superior animal in Portia. Okay, chat. Once you've seen the second animal, I need you to help me out. Once you've seen what the second animal is, I need you to either write Pinky or QQ, and in chat to let me know which is your favourite animal. The viewers will decide. Which is better, Pinky or QQ? I need to find QQ. I'm um, not sure where QQ's going to be we're about this time to find of day. QQ. Does QQ not stay in the mayor's office? Uh, no, because Pink, um, QQ is the mayor's son's 
pet. Ah. Nearly, nearly gave the game nearly away. Nearly gave it away. Woo! 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's let's. Hunt. Okay, the hunt for QQ begins. Um, see, there's a few fans of Pinky already, and they've not even seen Animal Two, so I'm definitely gonna gonna. QQ nap forever. This. Okay, so this is Gust. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. We're gonna go in here because QQ's in here. So Gust is Gale, the mayor. Um, it's uh, his son, and QQ is Gust's pet. There's QQ. Yay, <laughs> QQ. Okay, chat. Pinky or QQ? Vote, vote now. now. <laughs> So we've got a few QQs, got a couple of pinkies. Let's see, come on chat, you can do this, Q let us know. So look at- QQ forever. How, it's got like some sort of battle pack on with some bells. Yeah, the QQ's ready fraction. It's got camouflage and everything. I feel like the backstory oh, for that. Oh, there's another QQ. Yeah, QQ. No, no, pink, pinky's where it's at. Team Q cat. QQ. They're both, Ale Alexandra says they're both perfect. They are both perfect. They are lovely animals. Right. Another QQ from Aaron though. Aaron's picking a side. Anyway, let's, let's continue. We're okay. getting distracted by the cute animals. Too many cute animals. Oh. Okay, so. And you can, you know, attack the cute animals, but not QQ or Pinky, because the animals do drop resources that you may or may mm. not find useful. Um, and you can also go fishing as well. Yep, you can go fishing. You can cook the fish. And if you are... Oh, QQ's yeah, you winning! Feed Pinky. QQ's oh. winning, yes. No, then, no, QQ's not. It's definitely... Uh, Team definitely QQ! Just Pinky. Okay, so we need two rubber tyres for the Commerce Commission. Do we have the materials, Lauren? Let's find out. Cool. Yeah. So we need to look in a handbook and find... What do we need? So this is tells you how you can build everything that you yeah. do your way. So of. this is basically a reference point. So this tells me that if I have a work table at level two, I can build rubber tires. Nice. Which luckily, John, I, I do. Oh, yeah, this is if you are prepared <laughs> for the stream. Oh, <laughs> oh, well so, played. <laughs> we're gonna go across to where I believe the rubber tires will be. So this, yeah. So there we go. Uh, so this will tell me what we need to make them. So I need five pieces of rubber fruit, which I can gain from kicking trees. Shouldn't kick trees. They're well, important for, you know, oxygen. And two bronze bars from the stone furnace. So I Which you built earlier. Which I built earlier. Oh, here's one I made earlier. And also there's bronze bars and they're ready to go. You're ready to roll. Oh, very good. Okay. So once once they're used, because you have to fuel them, that you they wait there until you pick them up. Yeah. And that's the same for whether you're growing vegetables, crops, um, drying, because you can get the food, you can have a cook the food, you can mm -hmm. dry the fish, for example, and get different effects. Yeah. So, you know, even if you're a bit of a chef, you can kind of cook all these different cool yeah. dishes as so well. so anything that needs to be harvested, obviously we'll just stay there until you're ready to go. So I'm going to kick some trees because oh. I need rubber fruit. Oh no, Jonathan says, um, do you get bacon from, from them? Leave no. QQ alone! No, QQ and Pinky are immortal by design. They have plot armor. Oh look, rubber fruit. So, but other animals, you can choose what you do. Look at that rubber fruit. Pick oh. up the rubber fruit. You know, that tree will kick you back one day. <laughs> Okay, so we've got You're two pieces from there. I needed five, right? And you can cut these trees down for wood as well, I was wondering. But they do eventually grow back, it just takes a little while. They do, with a vengeance and a lust for revenge. <laughs> she kicked me and chopped me down. Oh, I can't see can what you I'm doing. Can you get some fruit there? Keep kicking. Yeah, it. I did, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. So I've got three now, I believe. Any more? Any more for any more? No. Okay, so let's try a different tree. And by doing this commission, we'll prove that money can grow on trees. Oh, John. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, there's one. There's some rubber fruit. Okay, so what have we got now? We've got four. four. We need one more. One more. See, I like how, you know, you're going methodically tree no. to tree. No, it's only the big trees. You can only you keep the big, the big trees. trees. Yes. Oh, there it is. The fifth rubber fruit. Okay. So we got that. Now, if we, if we didn't have the iron bars before, we would have had to go mining um, to get the relevant ores. Yes. So, am I going to just pick them up from there then? No plot armor on the poor fish. <laughs> Sushi emoji. <laughs> Rip fish. Okay, so we now have everything in our inventory for rubber tires. Oh, we're gonna have enough for one. We need five more rubber fruits. What a cruel twist of oh, fate! Oh no! Right, Time okay. to kick more trees. Let's make one. Woo! Hooray! Okay. Go tree kicking. Need to change the sensitivity on this pad. Oh yeah, we're um, <laughs> using a brand new pad, so it's, yeah, like, it's a bit sensitive. Are there any mounts? Um, 
I believe we hit. Did we hit that? Yes. So the ability to ride animals. That's coming at later. Specification day, not yes. yet settled on. Yes. Think possibly horses, but don't Ooh. quote me on that. Um, will come into play. Um, there are horses and cows, or and I think sheep as well Can already I ride in the game. A llama? And obviously llama. Well, this is the thing. I want I'd a llama. I don't want a llama. horse. A rainbow llama. But yeah, so that will be coming at a later date then, um, yeah. for some point in early access, because thank you to, to the amazing support of our Kickstarter backers, we reached that threshold. Yeah, we did. Thank you very much, because that will be a really cool thing to add into the game. Yeah. So, I mean, if you, you know, eventually, you know, you, you'll have your pet, your mount, um, and, you know, there are farm animals you can go hang out with as well. Yeah. Um, and you can get Pinky to follow you, so you can have like a little, like, animal armada. Yeah. Kind of following you around. Obviously, they're cute and lovely. You know, you can't set them to attack. Ready to go into battle. Yes. Oh. Right. I got one piece of fruit from like six trees. Oh, we got to find some more. Can we ride downhill in a shopping trolley? I don't think shopping trolleys exist after the apocalypse. Mm. Um, so that'd be a no. Um, however, you can choose to make the DD transport. What's the DD transport? So the DD transport is a nice little public transport system Ooh. for Portia. So you'll be asked to build um, a DD transport and DD stops that will then be placed around Portia so that you can fast travel because obviously at the moment where if you're sort of at the beginning of the game you have to walk everywhere which you know takes time yeah. takes energy and sometimes you just got to get places faster it's a mushroom should we gather it see what's it shaggy mane ah yes the infamous oh, shaggy I think it's mane a flower mushroom flower even mushroom flower we'll eat it anyway <laughs> maybe don't eat plants you don't know about Johnny. no that's probably a good piece of advice <laughs> write that down um when will it be released on switch so console versions of my time at potty we've just kind of said 2018 once we narrow down a more um specific date we'll let you know um, but yeah, 2018 is our current window. Ooh. Oh, honey. Honey bee wax. Oh, another one. I just kind of kicked it. Projectile weapons. They'll be mm. they'll be late game. Have you come across any yet? No, but it is um, it is being added in at a later date. Yeah. We did confirm that today as well. So yeah, is that in the patch notes? Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. Oh, then look, look, what's in that field? Laura? What projectile weapons? Look, look at the little sheepies. Still trying to find these damn rubber fruit. There we go. How many have we got now? Four. Five. Five. Ooh. Nice. Let's go. Let's go have a little trip through. So we've got the horses and we've got sheep. The sheep are so cute. Look at the way they jump. I want one of those now. Can we ride that instead? No. Let's ride it into battle. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna run through now, here so we can see. Is this rounds. Emily's farm? This is Emily's farm. Is Emily one of the romance options? Yes. Emily's lovely. So Emily, so there is this ranch here. Is belongs belongs to a lady called Sophie, and Emily is Sophie's daughter. She works on the ranch with her. Um, oh, look, horsey. Nay. Lovely horsey and some cows and baby cows. Where are the chickens and the ducks? Oh, oh there's a baby cow. Noodle They're in the next cow. field, I believe. That's getting dark as well. They'll be going in soon, won't they? They're there. There they are. Quickly. Quick. There's Sophie's ranch. Oh, Sophie's ranch, isn't it? Is Sophie the mother or? Sophie's the mum, yeah. And then what? Oh no, the chicken just get There's Emily. There's so Emily. Emily is actually in the key art as well. Yeah. So the brown haired character is kind of like the, the standard generic kind of one mm -hmm. of the templates you can have. And um, for the male player character, but Emily is real in the flesh character and um, potential romance option. Oh, it's her granny. Hi. There you go. I can spend a whole day tending. So that's her. The so the chicken and the ducks and the chickies. Look at the baby chickies. Can I pick one up? You can try, but you've been warned what happens when you. Oh no! Oh, oh no! no! Here made they come. A, made a huge mistake. Even the babies are having a go at you, look. Oh no! Um, currently, there's no plans for multiplayer. I'm currently, away. the plans for the game is to create a fully immersive, incredible single-player experience yes. where each player tells their own story, has their own encounters, mm -hmm. and basically. Whether you want to focus on farming, crafting, both, where you have your own story that you can share with your friends yep. and fellow Portians. So at the minute, we really want to create a special single player game. Yeah. Okay, so we'll quickly craft the rubber tire before we have to go to sleep. Yes. Just like our normal da daily routine make a rubber tire, <laughs> catch some sleep. sleep, maybe <laughs> grab a duck on the way back. Okay, so I've now made everything that that Commerce Commission needs. So I'm going to sleep real quick. 
good idea. <laughs> the fan just like keep your Don't air conditioning. Don't judge my wall fan. Maybe it works better that yeah, way. Yeah, maybe because it hits the wall and spreads out. Maybe yeah. maybe you're a genius. It's an it's a rudimentary air conditioning system. A rudimentary air conditioning system. Oh! Oh! What's happened, Lauren? We've entered winter, Jono. Oh my. <laughs> so, as I mentioned before, Portia has its own calendar. It has its own season. So we've now entered winter. Um, and it's snowing. So we're going to have a quick look. Oh, it's There's even your footprints in the snow. Look at the waterfall in the background as well. Like... That looks cool. It looks crystal. It looks great. So. Should we go turn in and get some cash money goals? Get some money. Ah, uh, yes. Money, money, money. Okay. Let's run a bit faster. So I don't think the Commerce Guild opens until. Not from, is it 9 o'clock? Is it 8 o'clock? There's a Remington from me. the Civil Corps. So basically, the Civil Corps is like your local kind of police, kind of military presence, keeping peace, making sure everyone's safe from. Mm -hmm post-apocalyptic monsters that might be Roman. But that's just a rumour. None have ever come close to Portia. We just think it's like, you know, old wives tales mm -hmm. to scare the kids, but you know, yep. who knows what's out there. Okay, so we're gonna turn our commission in now. Um, if you're unsure of where you turn your commission in, you can view the map that we showed you earlier and it'll have like a little marker on there. So it'll have the blue, as you can see in the bottom corner there, it's a blue circle just with a white. move our camera down a bit in. so we can get more of you in the camera. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I've got a hand into Antoine. So I'm going to just select. I'm such an efficient builder. You were efficient. You and kicked many trees very well. It's completed and I got my money. Woohoo. What's so. all those pillows? <gasps> Look at that, is that a little creature? Squishy chicken. Yeah, well, whatever you want, you're in charge. Who knows? Uh, yeah, know. like a squirrely thing? Maybe squirrely we'll find out thing. later. Oh, yes, the squirrely thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an expert identifier of animals and local fauna. Okay. So I've got quite a few residents out. There's Pinky. Let's say hi to Nora. Nora. Nora's got a cool outfit. She and does. And you can get different outfits for your character that not only change you aesthetically, but you can get things like armor and explorers kind of outfits, which yep. give you certain benefits, which are really good if you start exploring some of the combat dungeons. Yep. Um, so yeah, you do. You can you know dress purely to look a certain mm -hmm. way, or you can dress for war. Yeah. Um, so. So what I'm gonna quickly do is empty my inventory into one of these storage boxes in my house. You now have 99 bits of rock. We're going to go and do an explore. Oh, are we going to go into the the kind of the mining situation or are you going to kind of go somewhere a little bit dangerous? So, there are two options here. Oof. We'll let chat decide. So okay. we can either go into the abandoned ruins, we can do a bit of mining and you can see how that works, or we can go into the cave, which I believe is a story mission, where there isn't a creature to fight that I know I won't beat <laughs> because I'm not high enough a level and I haven't got any armour. Um, so yeah, cave or ruins, vote now. Well, Adam Saunders asks, can you get into the lumber yard yet? Uh, the tree farm, yes, it will be open now um, because it does have a story mission. Yeah, there. once you get to the relevant point yeah. in the story, it, you'll be required to provide your assistance. Yeah. Let's quickly move on this stuff. So yeah, if you if you want uh, to see Laura get uh, Laura Lauren get into a fight, um, you vote for kind of combat, or if you want Lauren to do some mining and show you the really cool kind of like ways you can alter the terrain, mm -hmm. then vote mining. Look at that one, <laughs> caterpillar. Yeah, the coolest caterpillar yeah. ever. He don't care, he been captured. He gonna be fish bait. Mm, don't tell him that, he won't be smiling anymore. <laughs> He's very smug, isn't he? He Bless is him. very smug. He doesn't know what's going on. Oh, Kara says mining. Okay. Yeah, let's head mining, Kara's first. Let's okay. go mining. Let's go mining, right, cool. So I've got a pretty, I've got enough space in my inventory if I find stuff while we're out mining. So you're gonna need a pickaxe. Um, there are three, I think there's like three, well, I found three different yeah. kinds of pickaxe so far because you can upgrade your tools in this as well. So I think at the moment I've got an iron pickaxe, which means I can I can mine harder surface materials. Yeah. I can go for um, bigger boulders and stuff like that. So we're going to go up here to the ruins. Let's go. So this is the first kind of mineable area you'll get access to outside of kind of the rocks formations yep. around around your house yep. so 
I'll let you take us through okay. the abandoned ruins. So we're going to go to the abandoned ruins. You have to pay to get in. <laughs> Such is life. Um, <laughs> you can pay 80 goals for a weekly pass. So I'm going to say yes, because obviously I've earned some money. Totally. So I'm flush with the cash right Ooh. now. Preach yourself. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Okay, so mining. So we have to aim where we want to dig. So as I said, we need an, a pickaxe. Yeah. Because you can't punch the ground. I mean, not unless you're like try. Chuck Norris or someone. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you. So when we're in the mines, we have a jetpack and we have these really fashionable goggles. They are very fashionable. They would go for many a pound at Camden Market. So we're going to just zoom over here. I like how you just casually go, yeah, jetpack now. <laughs> <laughs> I can fly. Okay, so the, the goggles are basically a relic scanner. Yeah. So when you open that up. Oh, that's roll. Oh. There we go, that's there we it. Go. I'm pressing the wrong button. Okay, so you'll open your relic scanner and you'll see these little dots. What are these dots? So, these dots are places that you can dig where you'll dig up an item. It, I see. You won't know what the item is, but one of the great things about Portia, because obviously it's a post apocalyptic place with a lot of history, there's a lot of stuff that's buried. Yeah. And so relics and parts and stuff that you can use to build so, and kind of like post apocalyptic time team. Yeah. Pretty much. Nice. Yeah. So we're going to go for this one here. It'll give me a little waypoint and then basically I've just got to dig. So as you dig I see you're getting some resources. Now yep. that'll depend on what kind of rock you're digging through yep. and you're actually terraforming the ground which I guess is why you get given a jetpack. Yeah. So I've dug up a power stone, that's what that item was. And what does a power stone do? So a power stone will fuel some of your machinery. So for example, you've got a cutter, which is where you can make like wooden boards and you can make marble boards and, and basically parts for building. You turn your raw resources into that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's powered by a power stone. So we're going to dig this one now. So it's kind of like a battery of sorts. Yeah. So like you're more kind of higher level machines. Yeah. But the question is, where did the power stones come from? That is a story from before the recent apocalypse happened, which I won't spoil. <laughs> so if you do want to read about the history of Portia, by the way, if you jump into the Steam page and go to discussions, uh, or go to the news announcement, sorry, there is a whole article about the history of Portia. Ooh. So if you want to kind of get a little bit of backstory about why the town is the way it is, there's a story there for you to read. Fantastic. And now we're just going to jetpack out the whole... And yeah. see, so down the bottom you've got HP, so your hit points, and SP, so yeah. stamina points. Mm -hmm. Now, they only drain when you're doing kind of strenuous activities. Yes. And can, can you get them back at all? Yes. So, your stamina points um, are, if you watch now while I'm mining, they'll go down every time I use the pickaxe. Ooh. So what will happen is when I run out of stamina, I won't be able to mine anymore. I have to go home. I can either sleep, and then if I sleep till morning, obviously my stamina bar will be completely refilled. Um, or if I have food on me, which I don't think I do at the moment, um, I can eat, and each type of food will list how many stamina points it will nice. refill with. So prior preparation will allow you yeah. to continue to explore, yeah. adventure. So if you're planning on going out on a particularly long mining expedition, or you know you're going to go and fight many other characters or a Ooh. boss or something like that then obviously fuel up yes you know a hearty breakfast <laughs> is a very important meal and snacks and snacks and a lunch box yeah and second lunch and everything in between okay right, let's go for this one let's see what treasures we can find Ooh. i'm hoping we're going to find a couple more data discs oh there's another is that power stone i think so yes nice. right let's zoom out of here Ooh. Rocket Man. Right. What have we got? This one? Yeah, let's go have a look there. So, players in chat, have you picked up My Time at Portia yet? What is your favourite feature so far in, in the first couple of hours of gameplay? Let us know and we will discuss. What did you call your character? What did yes. you call your workshop? Hopefully, not workshop. <laughs> The whole world is your oyster. <laughs> no, I chose workshop. <laughs> Did you call your dog dog? No. <laughs> That's a plus. Damn it, that was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? 
Oh, I leveled up. Oh, nice. So you level up not just from combat, but by doing things that use up yeah. your stamina points. Yeah. So you'll you'll learn your earn skill points basically from mining, and when you level up, you'll increase your health bar and your stamina bar. Nice. And it'll also, if I come up here, quickly, should have given me a skill point for leveling up, which I can now attach to one of these. What would you choose? Battle, gather, or social? Oh, Ooh, pardon me. Um. Right. I'm Ooh. well aware of something that I need to do in this game that requires my defenses to be a little bit better. Having said that, though, your attack by twelve percent, you know. You could just smash them down. But then, defense isn't a bad thing if you're worried you're going to get caught a couple of times by said boss. Let's ask, let's ask the chat. Attack or defense? Vote now. Strike. Let us know. Or guard. I say, I say you should be brave. I think thing. I should be, be confident. Defensive. I think I should have better defense. I think you should be highly offensive. Because I got. Owned. I believe in you. <laughs> All right, we'll do this together. We've got our viewers. I'm here. You're you're ready to kick some butt. Okay. Okay. Someone's saying combat. All right. Should we let's, let's... go? On, go on, be brave. I mean, if you hit them hard enough, I'm they won't hit brave. you back. Okay. Let's do. Let's look for two more. Okay. This one there. Are you gonna go digging? Yeah. Ooh. Go plow. Old parts. So old parts are quite useful because I might need them. To build things? To build things! Nice. And as we saw the workshop as well, that's not the final building. You can actually expand your workshop with more rooms and an extension. Yeah. So you can actually grow your home as well. You can expand the land as well. So if you wanted to have like a whole field of crops. Oh, I've got a data disc. If you wanted to have a whole field of crops, you could. Yeah. If you choose to be a crop farmer as opposed to more of a builder, you can, or if you would rather just go out and fight things, or if you'd rather focus on relationships, it's totally up to you. Yeah, or if you want to do everything. Yeah, you can do everything. Yeah. There's so much to do in this game, honestly. So this different colour earth here. Yeah. Leads me to believe. Yeah, I can get different ores. Ah, so the key is noticing different colourations yeah. in the ground. Yeah, so you've got this ground. So, sand and stone. Blech. Blech. And this ground. Yay! Copper and tin, which makes bronze. And bronze is good because bronze we can make bronze good. bars. Yeah. Okay, right, let's get out of here. Okay, where to? Oh, well, I think I saw someone say they wanted to go to the cave. Yeah, they want to see you uh, fighting some nasties. I'll say just take something that likes recover your health. Take some health recovery. Okay. We're gonna have to run back to the house real quick then. And you're gonna have to have a snooze first. Oh yeah, it's night time. It's Pinky. Oh, well, there's the lights just come on as well. Oh. Pinky's like meow. What does Pinky want? Pinky's coming over to see you. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm only joking. There you go. Pinky came to see you because Pinky likes you. She's cute. Is Pinky a boy or a girl? I don't know. I guess that's for the players to decide, unless one of the characters specifically Pinky's, says. Pinky's cute. Pinky is cute. Pinky eats all the scraps. <laughs> okay. That's why Pinky see. and QQ are rivals. Shortcut. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we're going to have a rest and then we're going to go do some combat. Yeah. Fantastic. Let's see what happens. Okay. But first... Have you got any food? Maybe I have to stop by and buy some. Oh, you have many crates. Some fish. Yeah, not cooked though. Cats love this fish. Lettuce. Can you just eat lettuce for No. That's a bit, you know, a bit basic. Yeah. But you're a great host. Here is dinner! It's More like, catfish and a whole lettuce. Oof, that, Enjoy. That is some um, hipster dining right there. <laughs> okay. Bon appetit. I'm going to have to run to the shop real fast. Because Here we I go. do not have any food. And there's Django doing some... Uh, uh, fencing or sparring. I'm just gonna uh, make sure the stream is going well on the Battle of Forty Okay, I don't want to go. I want to go here. 
There you go. Just turn my volume down so you don't hear my voice twice. <laughs> okay. Martha's Bakery. Oh yeah, that's the thought. The chat froze. So sorry we've not been answering your questions a bit there. The chat has frozen and I thought it had. Okay, so will controllers be supported on PC? Yes. Lauren, you are already playing on one. Are we going to be able to mod in the future? Um, I don't think so. Um, if we added that, we will we'll obviously let you guys know. Um, that's actually the first time I've heard that question, so it's quite interesting. Yeah. I'll have to find out. Um, if you guys want to join the Steam discussions or Discord, because we have an official Discord for the game as well, and you want to give us feedback or you want to talk to other players or talk to us, join. Um, I think we've got some links somewhere that we can probably share. Yeah. Oh, the um, good news is people voted for attack, so we chose the right one. Yes. So that was for Tina and Aaron. Uh, there we go. We went attack. It's, okay. You know, we sensed we sensed your lust for power. Okay. So if I buy baked bread, it will give me plus point fifty stamina. per second of stamina. HP and ten stamina. Look at that mushroom crepe with fruit sauce. So what I'm thinking is. I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got 1260. I'm going to get three of those. Yeah. This Plus 1% health per second. For 60 seconds. That's not great for combat, but good for recovering afterwards, because you get a good return of investment. Okay, I'm going to get two of those. And then I'm going to get three, four, five, four. How much are you going to get hit, really? Crepes. <laughs> Oh, delicious. I guess okay. you want them in your task bar at the bottom so yep. you can get them quickly. So I'm going to move them real I fast. I say task bar, infantry bar. I'm talking in ye oldie PC. Ye old PC. Right. No, I don't want to use it. Um, so I'm going to move that. Nice. Just don't mix up your sword with your fishing rod, otherwise that could be embarrassing. Could be a bit awkward. On guard. <laughs> okay. Nice. Cool. Cool. Let's go adventure. Let's get the sword ready. So we're going to go to the cave, I think. Is that where we're going? Yeah, we're going to go to the cave. <laughs> okay. Because it's adventure time. Oh, no. The ladybugs have escaped. Da, da, da. I think we need to show chat the lady, Mr. Ladybug. Mr. Ladybug. Level six. Look at him with his stick. He loves his stick. I like the fact that he basically dances. It's a very jovial bug. But do you approve <laughs> of this? No. I, I can sense your anger rising. Not Mr. Ladybug. Oh, Bug Egg. So you killed him and took his his unborn children. Wow. Um, <laughs> why? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, That's sea it. urchin. Look at it. It's so <laughs> it's so happy. Where did it I get like, that from? It's got his little floaty umbrella. He is. He's, he's off. He's oh, like, we'll no, leave he, it. He ain't bothered. We'll leave him. Right. We need to go over to this bridge. A bridge that you built earlier in the game. I did. It's one of your first major commissions, if not the first major commission. Yep. You have to get all the parts and build it for the mayor. To oh, yes. Portia. The mayor, but the mayor of where? Portia. Definitely Portia. There's some fish. Do you want to quickly, quickly catch a fish? Okay. I'm not very good at fishing. It's all right. It's not like, you know, the world is watching. Oh, oh. you've not got any caterpillars. Dang it. You got lucky this time. The snail, snail lob. Look at him. He, he's a, yeah. Imagine, he terrifies me. Imagine seeing that at night. He's like, hello. Okay. Clacking away at you. What's, What's this? That? Resin. Resin. Mm. Delightful. It's a fruity tree. There's Lua. So Lua is part of a big family of identical. Are they octuplets or more? I don't know actually. I don't think I've ever counted the siblings. Yeah, there's, there's a big only, collection of I think I've only of them. seen two. I thought they were just twins. Um, could be wrong. Sorry if I mis mispronounced your name. Is it Ky Kyrie? Kyrie? Ky Kyrie? 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 Sorry if we can't pronounce your name there. Um, Kyrie it says, Must say I've been enjoying this beautiful game. Thank you so much. Um, it's an absolute pleasure to be working alongside Pathia Games, who developed the game. Mm -hmm. um, just they're so passionate about what they do and it's so oh, exciting God. It, it's great to be able to share this world with you all yeah the snare lock's not happening yeah look, look at it <laughs> look take him down don't stand for that ah. lobster meat and meat a roll on your core 
steps. <laughs> oh. You're out of stamina. You need that to evade. Die. Ugh, mucus. mucus. Girl. That's not what you were looking for. I'm helping. <laughs> I'm helping. Can we break this? Yeah. Oh, loot. And that's definitely a mushroom. Yeah. It's red a red mushroom. mushroom. Oh, is this the boss? Oh, God. Look at him. No. That's a good dodge. That's a big fat pile of no. Come on, get in there, slap him. Oh. Okay, 95%. We can work with this. Nice. Dodge, dodge, dodge. This is the Dark Souls of RPG farming, building sim games. Dodge. Look at that. Oh no! Oh, he does hit her hard by it, doesn't he? Now, you can get even more powerful swords. This is, is it the level 2 sword, the second best sword? Yeah, this oh, is the no, so second bronze. earliest sword you can make, yeah. So you have your beginner sword, and I think there's an, like an enhanced beginner sword, um, and then bronze. Obviously, you can work okay. your way up and upgrade you know, them. Do you think this boss is a little bit crabby? Is that, is that why it's angry? My goodness. My no. time at Portia. Don't be so shellfish. shellfish. Oh, you might want to have some delicious mushroom. Crap. Okay, let's get out. No! Huh. There you go. Okay. Oh my goodness, you're not very good at fighting. As you can tell, That's I'm more right. of a far you, you I'm a peace really... lover. You've got this. If I hit him in the butt, he can't turn around fast enough. Ah, tactical. Dodge, dodge, That's dodge. It. That's a keep at it. The butt. The weak, the weak spot the is weak in the point. butt. <laughs> there you go, you got this. There's going to be a lot of the... Uh... I'm going to be so pleased with myself if I do this because <laughs> it didn't go well when oh, I tried it. Oh, you got meat, shell, lobster claw and free... I wonder what bloodstones are. Well done. Well done. We did it. Right, let's quickly smash these crates. No oh, money. Money. I think we can smash these, maybe. Yep. More money. Free money. Smoked meat, roasted meat. So they say you can cook the meat, you can smoke the meat, you can dry the meat. There's lots of different options that give you different benefits depending on how you want to use it. Mhm. Mm well, is there more to go up here? Is there? As you can tell, I'm a bit of a collector in games. Yes. Like, so I have to smash all no the crates. No nook or cranny left unchecked. No. Because that's where the precious loot is. Okay, so there is actually a story mission associated with this cave, I believe. A cave on the fire. To repair the generator. Get some more goodies. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Banderats. What is this? So you beat the boss, but it's not over. No. Oof. Have you, you have ran out of inventory. What? Right. Maybe we drop some of the like Let's abandon stuff. these stones. Why? I've got a whole box of stone in my house. Why? I don't know. Because I went mining for a very long time. And some dirt. Do that. There we go. Bye bye dirt. And sand. You know, you're giving back. That's, that's yeah, the good so I've got thing. a few spaces now. Worn, fair and fair. I bet that'd be handy for making clothes. Yes. Okay. Right, what's through here? I haven't been through this bit yet. Maybe heal up a little bit. Oh, yeah, just to be safe. Oh, God. Have a delicious pancake. A crepe? A crepe. Eat it. It's delicious. <laughs> um... Drop the mucus. Oh, there's more sand there. Crikey. You just can't resist it. My pockets it. are full of sand. Um. Oops. Yeah, so the stamina in its current form has actually changed after player feedback in the beta. So originally it did affect your overall stamina sprinting, but our players were like, hey, you know, maybe we could look at it where it doesn't affect your overall stamina. So the developers were like, yeah, okay. And the change came about from talking to and listening to our players. Are you going to eat the mystery rat meat stew? Oh, oh. yeah, nice. Oh, oh nice. wow, that's cool. So this is like a little kind of 
rest in wait. It would help if I didn't have a full inventory yeah. though. Yeah. Or you need to maybe buy like a backpack or get some more inventory space. So I think I can actually upgrade. Let's have a look. I think it's down here. Yeah, if I have enough money. I don't have enough money. But you can unlock a new row. Excuses. Damn it. Next time. Tasteless okay. broth. Mm. So I'm um, this. Okay, so I've got to go over here. Here we go. Okay. Turn on the generator. Turn on the generator. Yeah. And there's little cut scenes as well. Uh oh. Oh dear. Maybe this is why we got the health. <gasps> Bandy rats. Squeaky squeak. Oh no. Okay. Oh wow, oh. They, uh, they have a, a good gap poser. Yeah. No. Well. Stop that. Is it just those? No, there's more down the tunnel okay. on our escape route. I just gotta smash these crates. Because You like you love money. I need that gold. What about that gold? Hey, no worries, Dakota. You know, say we love chatting to our audience and we love the fact that you've taken time out of your day to watch watch us and talk to us. So thank you. Thank you. No, no. Go oh, take it down. Die at the hand of a bandit rat. That a bucket? Emily's, Emily's bucket. bucket. Yeah, you want that's got to be like a quest item for her, or maybe like an item that will give you lots of affinity. Yeah, you probably don't need the eye mask. It's still got rat blood on it. Yeah. Oh, you killed Mr. Ladybird for his eggs. Oh, can I wear that? No, that's just loot. I think your head's too big. Yeah, true. That's for rats. <laughs> <laughs> Not for you. <laughs> Okay. Get away from me. Slashy, slashy. So this will be getting you some good experience points, no doubt. No. Come on, take it down. Take down that bandy rat. He's gone. Rest in pepperoni. Oh, we've got three minutes left. Oh, God. Will you escape no. the cave in time? No. <laughs> stabby, stabby. Okay. What's that over there? A gust slam, so there's a lot of interesting items here that the reporting residents have yeah. lost. Okay, so I'm gonna have to come back for that because yeah. I, there's not really much else I can draw. So that's good that you can come back into this cave yeah. at any time. Of course, there may be more bandy rats looking for you, so um, be prepared if you venture back. Um, yes, uh, Lauren is currently playing with a controller, so you can play mouse and keyboard, um, and the game does also feature um, controller support. Combining the power of the PC with the comfort of the controller. Yeah. <laughs> now these bandy rats. They're I mean, everywhere. I mean, luckily there's they're, they don't have a leader, right? Or many leaders. That would be a shame if you encountered one of those, wouldn't it? Oh dear. <laughs> so yeah, these bandy rats are out for range. You've been taking down their friends, and they do they're not, not like happy that. with me. I mean, they're the you know they started it. I've had it with these. Damn Bandy rat. bandy rats in this damn cave. Pop culture. <laughs> Take them down. No! I'm slowly getting more and more outnumbered every, every battle. Luckily, well. you've still got some of your no. delicious tape. I'm going to have to refuel in a second. Okay. Oh, you're nearly at the end. Oh my god. Nope. Not today, Bandy Rat. Ow! More healing. Is that it? Can I get no, no, there's a there's a big enemy down there. I would take that healing pot if I were you. Nice. Okay. Then I guess... I'm gonna jump down. Well, should we go in the quest marker? Oh no, you jump down. Is that the that's the rat prince, isn't it? Got a giant fork. Oh, my goodness. He's gonna skewer you and have you for dinner. He's got nice hair though. So I think. You're the oh, you're not going to do what I think you are, are you? You're, you're not going to leave it on a cliffhanger. <laughs> she is. I think that's all we've got time for, Jono. It is, Lauren. Um, Yeah, so like I said before, come join us on Steam Discussions. Um, My Time at Porty is now available in early access on Steam. I've got tons more content to add. 
um, throughout Early Access. Um, and obviously if you want to give us feedback or is there something you want to see in the game, join the discussion, let us know. Um, I've been Lauren. I've been Jono. Um, and you you've guys been, have been awesome. awesome. Thank you so much for joining. See you later. Good night. Bye.